Protests in southwest of Iran are continuing. At least eight people are killed by security forces. Here's a brief explanation of why this is happening. The protests are mainly happening in the oil-rich province of Khuzestan, and the main reason for the protests is water shortage. However, this problem has not happened overnight. It has been going on and brewing for many years. The drinking water in Khuzestan has not been drinkable for many years and citizens have had to buy bottled mineral water. Other provinces have also similar issues, but Khuzestan is one of the worst hit. There's also the bigger issue of using water for agriculture. Uh, agriculture actually is, po is possibly the main suspect here. 92% of Iran's renewable water resources are consumed through agriculture. And bad irrigation methods and uh, techniques and also uh, yielding uh, products that use lots of water is causing the main problem. Uh, instead of actually, let's say, planting things that use very little water and, are, and we can actually um, make money out of them and export them and, make, and use that money to import, let's say, rice or uh, other grains, we, we want to be self-sufficient. So this is possibly an ideologic problem that we have, starting from Ayatollah Khomeini's speeches that we should be self-sufficient too. The policies of the Islamic Republic have turned Iran into a pariah state. That's why it's always facing sanctions. And because of that, to actually overcome the impact of sanctions, the politicians have encouraged farmers to use more water to plant more wheat, rice, and things that are consuming lots of water. The primitive agricultural methods alongside excessive dam buildings have had disastrous consequences. Iran has built around 600 dams in the last 30 years. That's about 20 dams per year. But after the war, when Rafsanjani became the president, he was looking for ways and means to uh, reconstruct the nation and become the hero of reconstruction. People who were in charge of actually finding dam sites to build those mega dams in Khuzestan, like the Gotvan Dam, Karun 3 Dam, Karun 4 Dam, um, Karche Dam, and other dams in other parts of the country, basically did not care and respect environmental assessment of the projects. They didn't care about the benefit to cost ratio of the projects. Because the, the, big, the important thing was that they were making money and two, they were hiring uh, revolutionary guards. And uh, one of the big major partners of these projects was the Khatul Anbiya construction firm or headquarters that was created right after the war. And then they also created a um, firm called Sepasat. That means, uh, Sepa means uh, the guards and then Sat means dam. So the dam building uh, faction of Khatam al uh, construction headquarters. Its aggressive dam building policy made the country the world's third biggest dam builder after China and Japan. However, it should be said that the protesters' grievances do not limit to water shortage. Mismanagement of Iran's water supply is one of the many problems Iranian people face. As a result, the chance of death to the Supreme Leader and Islamic Republic can be heard night after night. The protests have also extended to other provinces like Luristan, Isfahan and Boucher. Only a couple of years ago, there were countrywide protests against the rising fuel prices, which led to complete shutdown of the internet across the country and killing of 1,500 of protesters by security forces in a space of only a few days.